Hired Tampa cop accused of killing a man inside a Pasco movie theater is headed for trial. Investigators say six years ago, Curtis Reeves killed Chad Olson during an argument over text messages. Reeves' trial is set for October. Now, Reeves' trial was actually delayed six years while lawyers argued two different stand your ground questions. And a Tampa father says stand your ground, let his son's killer avoid trial. He tells Nightside's Liz Birch he's dedicated his life to getting rid of stand your ground. I wake up every day living every parent's worst nightmare. On Johnny Johnson's wall, a large picture shows his son Jaquan Johnson as he remembers him, a star basketball player at Brandon High School. But three years ago on New Year's Day, the course of Johnny's life changed. I got the phone calls. I'm like, why do they know I'm here? And then I got a text and I looked at my watch and it was like, my son, you're like, Quan been shot. He says the teen who shot his son was never charged with his murder. Investigators said at the time that Jaquan Johnson came to the teen's home for a drug deal. An argument broke out, both pulled out weapons, and Johnson was killed. They say whatever sorrow and grief, you know, things happen, you can build off, you can take some good out of it. Now, Johnny devotes his time to getting rid of Florida's stand your ground law. He disagrees with the change that shifted the burden of proof to prosecutors and he feels like the law emboldens people. But defense lawyer Jay Abair has a very different perspective on Stand Your Ground. It allows people that should not be charged to raise that shield and be immune from prosecution. He's aware there are critics of the defense, but says it's an important tool. I think the knee-jerk reaction for the public is that this is a wild, wild west kind of defense. Mm -hmm. The reality of it is, is all of these defenses have been in place.